Moving on from arrays, we're going to go into looping. So we're going to start with a for loop. A for loop is a way to cycle through the same piece of code over and over again. Um, for example, if we want to print the numbers 1 to 10, uh, one example is we could do this, print ln, and we can say 1. And then we could say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You get the idea, and we could do that 10 times. But let's say we wanted to print the first thousand numbers. Do we, excuse me, do we really want to do that a thousand times and have the code look like this? No, we don't want to do that. So what we can do is create a for loop. So for example, let's say we have four, and this is the syntax. It's going to look similar a little bit to our if statement. So we're going to have four space. And then we're going to have to set an initial number of our for loop. There is a range way to do this, but I want to show you like the core looping syntax first as this gets really important later. So for, and we usually use i inside of a for loop for index. So for i, colon equals zero, semicolon. And then we have to think when i is less than or equal to 10, because I want to print zero to 10. So if I say when i is less than 10, then I'll only print 0 to 9. And I actually want to print 1 to 10. So let's replace 0 with 1. So we start with 1, and then we go through and including 10. So less than or equal to 10, colon, i plus plus. So we increase the value of i each time through this loop. You could also say i plus equals 1, like this and that will also increase the value of i each time through this loop. So I'm going to say i++ plus plus because it's kind of standard convention. So again, for i equals 1, so we start with i equal to 1. So if i inside of this for loop, if I say print i, it's going to start on 1, and then the first time through it's going to go here, print i, i is 1. Great. It hits the bottom of the for loop, it comes back to the top. Now i has been incremented to 2. So i is now 2. It goes down here. Is i less than or equal to 10? Yes. So it goes into the for loop. Prints i is 2. Hits the bottom. Goes back to the top. i is now 3. i is still less than or equal to 10. So it prints i 3. Increments i. Goes back to the top. i is now 4. And you get the idea. So it goes up the whole way i is less than or equal to 10. So let's do i equals 9. Yes, less than or equal to 10. So print 9, increment i, come back to the top. i now equals 10. Is i less than or equal to 10? Yes, it's equal to 10. So we're going to print 10, add 1, i is now 11. We come back to the top. For i equals 11, when i is less than or equal to 10, i is no longer less than or equal to 10. It's now greater than 10, it's 11. So it's not going to run this, and it's going to continue on down into the code. And so if I do a print outside of here, just to show you what this looks like, we can say after for loop. So let's save that. And so what happens now is it enters the for loop in main, it prints 1 to 10, and then it leaves the for loop, and then it prints after for loop. So here we go, let's clear it, run it. You can see we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, after for loop. And the reason we're getting them all on new lines is because we're using println, which prints the number, and then kind of hits the enter button for us, prints that new line for us. If we just did print, it would all be on one line. Now we could also kind of take this backwards as like a countdown for like launching a rocket or something. So we could say launch. Um, and then instead of counting from 10 to 1 to 10, we would count like 10 to 0. So we could say something like for i equals 10. So we start with the counter for the for loop of 10. And then we say when i is greater than or equal to 0, we want to subtract 1 from i. So instead of plus plus, you can do minus minus or i minus equals 1. Um, some people like the minus equals one syntax for for loops. I prefer the minus minus. For everything else, I usually prefer the plus equals or minus equals one. 
Um, so here we go. So it starts and we'll just kind of walk through how this will work before we run it, right? So for i is 10, starts at 10. Is it greater than zero? Yes, so we print 10. We subtract one, we get nine. So i is now nine. I is obviously greater than zero, so we print nine, subtract one, I is now eight. Same thing the whole way down, we'll go to skip to one, I is one, yes, it's greater than or equal to zero, so we print one, we subtract one, we get to I equals zero. Is I greater than or equal to zero? Yes, because it's equal to zero. So we print zero, and then we subtract one, it's now negative one, I is negative one, Negative one is not greater than or equal to zero, it's less than zero, so that terminates the for loop. Whoops, don't know what I did there. Terminates the for loop, and it skips down to the next line in the code, and it calls launch. So we should print 10 to zero, and then launch. Okay, we are still on the old code, why? I didn't save it. <laughs> there we go, you have to save the file, or you're gonna print the previous stuff. Here we go. So we count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and then launch. We launch our spaceship.